Hey houseplant friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna be going online houseplant shopping. I'm doing this live, so if you want, you can watch the whole VOD on my channel as well. I know most people don't like to watch full live streams, so I made this cute little video for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and also check out my YouTube membership. They're only $5 a month. And special thanks for the extra channel support to the planted Carly flower, all the green places, Botanicas, and Carissa Lawrence. Now, let's get in to the plants. I'm very excited and you're gonna hear me make little comments and stuff. I'm gonna see if I can bring the chat onto my little screen. Let's do it. Let's look at some plants. I'm probably gonna buy something for once too. See you guys how awkward was that, huh? <laughs> Here's a fun poll idea. Let's do this. Okay, because I have this battle with myself. Is it um, varicosum or varicosum? I think it's varicosum too, but lately I keep wanting to like I keep skewing towards Veracusum. You guys should all say hi, YouTube. And then I can feel like I'm a famous Twitch streamer. So I have quite a few shops I want to look at today. And I've got, you can't see it, but I have some tabs up here as well. Oh, you guys are doing the hi, YouTube thing. I feel so, I feel so special. What the heck, you guys? Wow, it just hit me that this is my job. <laughs> You're famous to us? No. You guys are so fun. Let's look at, let's look at Botanicas. Yeah, my photo's kind of annoying. I'm gonna shrink it, just one. There we go, easy peasy. I'm shopping, see this is fun. Like we can literally just scroll through plant shops together. I think that's so fun. There was a girl, I was at a succulent day the other day and there was a girl who, who told her boyfriend that I was filming for YouTube. Didn't know who I was, but that that's what I was doing. And I got so self-conscious. I was so nervous. This is a really good plant though. Philodendron snowdrift is a pretty pog. Who am I? <laughs> My husband taught me how to say pog and now I can't stop. You guys, I need you to understand yesterday I was rage cleaning like so many different plants. I washed down all of the plants in my greenhouse and like sprayed Captain Jacks on literally everything with all the time that I spent taking care of my plants yesterday and then repotting them all, which is a video I have five hours of footage for. I like re-fell in love with plants yesterday. Like actually, and all I, like I had plans to play with my uh, husband on this video game called New World. Oh my God, a majestic, it's exciting. And I literally was like, sorry, I just kind of want to hang out with my plants, which again, pretty pog. Look at that, it's even growing in. I had a talk with Anya and David today on the phone for like two hours and it was so fun. Is this Twitch? We pogging poggers. <laughs> really enjoy the videos when you clean and water your plants. Aw. Old, what does that mean? Pog is like pog champ, it's an emoji. Actually, have I ever met any fans? Well, I don't like to call them fans. I feel like when you call people fans, it puts you on a pedestal. I actually was told, so I'm going down to Arizona soon. I was told by one of the shop owners there that, well, he told me he wanted to set up a meet and greet for me to meet some of my Arizona people. And I was like, oh, like how many people is it? Like three? And he was like, oh, it's like 30. 30 people have shown interest in wanting to meet me from freaking Arizona. That doesn't make sense to me. I have met a few people, like I've gotten recognized, I think probably about 10 different times. Yeah, I I don't know. I don't know about meet and greets during COVID because I just feel like it's an unnecessary risk. Girl, take your pedestal and take that crown. It's so hard to look at plants when you guys are so entertaining. Do I have a mame? I do. I do have a mame. I actually just cut it down to pieces wanted to I propagated so many plants you guys will you don't need to hear me hash it out you'll hear about it in a video in like two weeks I'm a, a week ahead of schedule right now I would love to do a meetup in New York but I've never even been plant shopping there I've also ever ne never even been there stop if you go to Arizona I will go there's uh one of my members or yeah one of my members lives in Phoenix and I really would like to meet her, but it's just, I don't know that it's necessarily safe right now. There's just no reason when it's its the panoramic, which I said that on purpose, it's getting worse. Oh my gosh, we almost have 200 viewers. You guys, this is ridiculous. Dropping in price pretty drastically. Like look, this whole plant here is only 330. 
for this entire thing. Uh, mods who are here, you guys are welcome to approve anything that's not blatant, uh, like, problem problems i'm in canada i'm going to canada at some point i will be going to visit uh one of my best friends lucia lulu's leaves if you guys don't subscribe to lucia on youtube you should but i'm gonna go to toronto at some point so i will let you all know when i go to toronto we can bop in toronto with us we can go to a cat cafe and get boba oh my god i want to go to secret garden boutique so bad you guys oh okay the freaking red anderson we'll look at that in a minute i almost just clicked away from botanicas i want to you guys are making it so hard to focus on the plants you guys are so fun oh my gosh lumi is so cute since you're trading with botanicas again no i'm not i wish but they are not ready to have us come back out yet. They're in the middle of a transitional period right now. So, but at some point, at some point I will come back. Plant crawl instead of like a bar crawl. Oh my gosh, 200 viewers. Thank you so much for being here, you guys. I am so grateful for every single one of you hanging out with me tonight. This is so fun. I will also be coming to Florida at some point. It's easier when plant shops bring me out. I will make my way around. My One of my other best friends, Heather lives in Florida, so. There's Hoyas, you can also go subscribe to her. Just bought a PPP. Yeah, the freaking pink princesses are dropping fast. Ah, oh, it's so hard. I I spent major money today on pottery. Me watching this at 10.30. Is it in the morning or night for you? Probably morning. Let me vicariously through you. You guys, I'll be front with you. I spent $200 on pottery today. I don't know, I'm gonna buy something for sure. It just, I kind of already have my eye on something. Begonia Chlora Sticta hybridized with Chlora Nura. Super Chlora. That looks like acid. My brain doesn't know what to look at. I love this. Kalamantan type one. What a baby. Do you know how long I have to film an online plant shopping video to get like <laughs> good good content i won't because i already have two elbows but this is only like like 293.25 okay saving 51 dollars it looks amazing look at that that's beautiful someone spilled bleach on that begonia okay so some of you guys do think it is veracusum honestly i'd like to see what 200 dollars of potter i can show you It's not just this one pot. There's four of them. I bought four of these. And they're all hand thrown, hand made by a local ceramicist. Clay by Shea, Pottery Hall. And I already, uh, I already potted up two of the other ones. For good pottery, I spend like money. But this right here, like this is a whole art piece. She only made one and it's the first one she's ever made like this. And it's a ceramicist that I love. So I just, between wanting to support local businesses during the pandy, you know, my love for pottery, I couldn't, I couldn't resist it. All right, let's keep going, rolling. No, the Baramensis, that's one of my favorites. Looks like they got a few of them. Okay, so you guys can pre-order Sarawak, which is so cool. I have been favoring yellow variegation over white, you guys. Kid a white princess. I actually might be getting one locally. Yes, actually, I found out that the girl who does the pottery, um, she, she does classes, and I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna take one. Don't forget to throw a like if you just hopped onto the stream. I love that you guys are talking to each other in the comments. Look at how nice that looks. Wow, that's beautiful. I just need a Wendlingery, you know? All right, this is our last page of Botanicas. All right, let's move on to Red Anderson. This is the philodendron that's at the top of my wish list right now. So the Red Anderson is an exceptionally expensive plant. Uh, like you guys saw, I talked about in my video the other day. Look at this one, let's just admire this. 
Wow, just the top cutting. Still so beautiful though. Glad that I'm not the only one who's into yellow variegation. Yeah, I'm really, it doesn't melt as much, you know? Yes, I will go to, yes. <laughs> All three of those places, M day to day, I'm going to check out. Uh, I, perfect choice is that like new one I would love to see. Yeah, free Britney. Yeah, the one lingering in fluorescence is really nice. But I think I saw an Ilsa Mani eye, so let's check it out. Ships from Indonesia. That's cool, so he's actually air layering this. You guys might not be able to tell, but this cup he has right there, it's a, a half cup with the moss, so then the plant grows there and then you can cut it underneath and it's already like fully rooted. Yeah, wondering the difference. Okay, so I don't know exactly, I will look it up, but a pink princess is just a variegated lad, I think, and the red Anderson, here, let's look it up. Just doxed my email. <laughs> Pig yikes. People say that this is a blah, 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 blah. It's actually a hybrid of a pink princess and a philodendron white knight. It's also known as a philodendron white Anderson in Europe. The, the stems are burgundy. The leaf shape and variegation patterns are like a PVP, but the final color is white. At first, the variegated areas come out faint pink, but then hardens to white. The way you can tell them apart from a white knight is checking out the leaf shape. What plants should you get if you have a if you want a rare plant and have around 50 US dollars? Begonias or orchids? A hybrid of a pink princess and a white knight. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Right, let's check out the Sancti scene. You guys want to get a mini paper one? If I got one, I would want it to at least be like this. I know it's more expensive, but... This shop is actually really cool. Oh, they got tiny Thai constellations. I really want an Aurea. I only kind of wanted one, but then my friend Brooke got obsessed with them and wouldn't stop talking about them, and now I really want one. I am easily influenced. So, locally, I might be getting White Princess later tonight. Do you guys like Ring of Fires? I would love to know if you like Ring of Fire. Okay, Max, I don't know if you saw my comments, but I agree. I think Sancti's a thematophyllum. I really think it's a thematophyllum because it gets the eyes when the leaves fall off. Okay, big unpopular opinion. If I had the money and the means, I would pay 2,500 for this. I'd try to find one that I like actually identified with, I think, but if I was like hella rich, Looking at plants makes me so sleepy. I usually don't look at plants unless it's nighttime. So when I start to like sit and look at them, my body's like, oh, time for bed. You guys do not have to trade me your plants that you get. A good price range, that's the thing is, Florida beauties are like, like anywhere from 300 to $800. I got my, I only have one because Anya gave me one because she likes me. So the plant that I bought the other day, I got a Domesticum variegata. And this is about the price everywhere for them right now. And I only spent like 150. Okay, these are kind of cheap. Go off. Wow, this is a lot. Should I buy an Albo? Shop is this Variegata USA from Texas. Place the order on July and it arrived the 22nd, only two days. Wow, no water roots. So I shall pass, but that does not mean that this is not a viable plant. Yeah, I personally have a policy that I need there to be some, some kind of water roots there. Yeah, like that. That's what we, we look for. What you say is why you're Greg. <laughs> Do you watch Danny Gonzalez? What you say is why you're Greg. Oh, 189.99, but no water roots. My guy, listen, it is not hard to grow your plants out a little bit more before you sell them, I promise. You want the plants to live long term, not arrive and then die in a couple weeks. So I recommend giving your plants some water roots. Only takes like an extra two weeks. Yeah, I'll check out all the stories you guys want me to. Kristen Simpson, welcome. Ashley, have I been watching the Olympics? Only when TikTok shows me videos. So, okay, this one I would do, I would. So if I was like desperate, like that little guy is enough right there for me to like, you know, be like, okay. I wonder what the shipping is here. Is it like next day basically? 
Because that's the thing. We'll check out Vergata 777. I might just end up ordering one from him because he does next day. So you literally order it and it's in the air for like less than a day. I worry about these ones because I just don't feel like there's enough roots for it to be in the air for that long. VU1038. Can I check out? Yeah, I'll check out JC's plants. Yeah, I like this one a lot, but for me, I would need this to be shipped to me next day for me to buy this. I actually am not loving Hoya that much right now. Um, I had a moment last night where I was like, maybe I'm just gonna like, you know, get rid of all my Hoya. Also, you guys, don't forget to like the video if you're new. This is the Hoya Sigillatus I really like. I think it's really unique. I just don't love Hoya right now, you know? I'd so much rather have a philodendron, to be honest. I love this shop though. They are a really good shop. They also just posted this update an hour ago, so they're gonna be sold out in the next hour. If you guys want something, you should uh, go get it. You know, you guys, the hard thing is that like a lot of the plants I like to look at, I find on Facebook in groups that I like, they're not as expensive as Etsy. So this is the one I found the other day. Like it said that it was something else, but I found this plant, which is the pink flecked variegated splash or pink freckles. This plant is like a more expensive syngonium. It's about $40. Sometimes I see them for 80. Ooh, strawberry ice. This one's popular right now. This one's actually not too muddy. I'll think about this one. You got a lot, Cheryl. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get one of these, you guys. I don't even like Syngonium that much, but like, I also don't understand the hype with the Three Kings. I think I like this one the most, to be honest. I like that light pink happening. See, but like, I don't know if I'm just caught up in the hype of the strawberry, like there's a strawberry ice, like there's some that are really white and I really like those ones. So let's keep looking for Syngonium. I do like the Lance Leaf. I discovered I liked that when we picked it out for Harley, like me and Anya. Oh my gosh. How do you even cut that? I love his leg pop right there. It's classy. All these different poses. <laughs> it's the same photo, but my man poses. And his name is Redneck Shrek. I love him. I don't. The only Syngonium I have is a Albo and then um, the one that I found. Babe, that's a wet branch. <laughs> you know what's like so funny is like, I'm gonna end the stream at some point and then just get on my phone and look at more plants. Oh, you guys, I just wanna spend so much money on plants. Like I love to buy new plants, especially when I feel like I do right now, like feel so in love with plants. I spent so much time yesterday and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna like propagate all my plants and I'm not gonna let myself lose any of them. And so what I decided I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like try a couple plants I'm not good at. Okay, milk confetti. This one, this might be one of the more rare ones here. No, some of the prices on Etsy are pretty up there. That's why like, but the thing is I can't go on Facebook and show you guys plant shopping on Facebook because I can't blur out the listings names, like the people and <sighs> so it's tough. So we're stuck to Etsy and then websites. Say hi to everyone. Hello, plantoid. Tell the people that you're happy with me and that you don't want to leave me and that you don't look bored all the time. Mmm. It's our anniversary in the day. Oh my gosh, we'll be married for a year. What plant should I buy myself to celebrate? No plants. No plants? Which one is it? Creaky Shed. So there is this person and I talked to them about it and they said it's like suede. Odds you think we'll find a Wendling if we search for it. Also, I know I keep getting distracted from peace, love, and happiness, but. Oh, they're so expensive. All right, let's check out Peace, Love, and Happiness Club. All right, collector plants. Let's take a look. They revamped their website, looks really good. $88 for a small pink princess. Oh, there's so many pages to look through. Wow, is that for real? War Aquianum for only $128. Oh my God, am I about to buy some plants? So the only one left available is this one. Why are their prices so good? Oh my gosh, why are their prices so good? Oh my God, I'm gonna buy some plants, you guys. 108 for the pendants I want? <sighs> oh my God. I know it's fine, but like seeing that number attached to a plant and not a car, that is why I'm trading for one. <laughs> I needed to make sure it wasn't gonna like 
put anything up on the screen. So this is the plant I want for only a hundred dollars. I don't know if I'm gonna go through with it, but there's quite like, I have like a pit in my gut right now. See, now I'm starting to like talk myself out of buying stuff. This is what I do every time. I like get really close to buying something. I'll, I'll maybe even like put it in my cart. And I'm like, oh, I could just like, like, oh, I could just trade for it later. Like I can wait, you know? You guys, I do this to myself every time. Should I buy a plant from this girl and support her? These Mikans are ridiculous. Yeah, so they're calling them Velvet Halo. Like that's the name of this new plant, I guess. Okay, I need to buy something. <laughs> so what I have saved up here is this Majestic. Cause it's from Botanicas and I love them. But there's also this shop and you guys, I wanna show you this shop here. So they freaking had to change the name, I'm sure. Coloration is almost identical to the Cream Splash variant Gabby. Yeah, you can't uh, say you have the same plant as a person who's copyrighted it. So this website has something that's been on my wish list, which is the Homolobina rubescens for $285 and this is a plant I've been thinking about for three days now. I actually have this bookmarked. You guys are so like positive. You guys are so sweet. You're like, just buy plants. <sighs> you guys, remember when I told you I spent $200 today on pottery? <laughs> so honestly, right now for me, it's between this guy and the Majestic or honestly both. Here's another website I wanted to show you. I keep seeing someone say, we love plants Florida. Is that like a real website or is that um, cute? Oh, cute. This is such an adorable website. That's a good price. You get a lot. What the heck? Right, let's keep looking at the plants. I love the Hoya sigillatus. I might buy from this website, <laughs> like for real. Oh my goodness. Wait, this whole thing? I know it's not Borneo, but still, that is ridiculous. Should have minded my damn business and not gone plant shopping at the same time. You guys, Syngonium get me like excited lately. It's made my heart go pitta patta pitta patta. Look at the store! You guys, do you think this is in their house and they just did this? Or do you think that this is like a, is this like an actual place? <gasps> okay, see, yeah, this one's more expensive. I think I'm gonna buy that small one. Oh, String of Hearts for only $25. I wonder if their shipping is expensive because all their prices are really, really low. Check out their Insta. It's an actual store. If anyone knows the owner, tell them to please bring me down. How do they like operate with prices this low? Wait, how is it that small in her hand? It's in a, like a four inch pot, but the plant looks huge. I don't think I want to place that entire Mikan's. Definitely want to get a string of hearts. Huge Kalyan of Aragata for 78. Yeah, it is good, huh? So standard shipping is $18, but priority one business day is 20. So it's $2 more to get it next day. I have placed my order. I got a Hoya Sigillatus and a String of Hearts variegated. Cool, let's buy some more plants. <laughs> I'm gonna get this one as well. I can't stop thinking about it. Oh, you can't even see it. I'm gonna get this one as well because I can't stop thinking about it. So I'm buying plants today because when we track our bills, it rolls over tomorrow. So I want all these charges to be on this last month's bill. <laughs> For this one, I think I'm gonna do express one day. You guys are so excited. I'm so excited. All right. Oh no, 
Why would it do that? Oh, ha! <sighs> you guys. I'm so smart for switching my freaking tab because it pulled up my PayPal window. <sighs> this is terrifying stuff. Holy moly. <sighs> like, it's actually beating. Like, it feels like I just... It's like someone pulled a gun on me. Like, that's my heart right now. Oh my god. Aww. You guys are nice. Normally, I wouldn't spend money on, like, expedited shipping, but... I'm going out of town soon and I want to make sure it gets here while I'm in town because otherwise that would just be terrible. Let's look at uh, Botanica's one more time. So I really want to buy one from Botanica's. What time is it over here? It's 10.20 p.m. I'm sorry, what? One sixty-five. Sale ends in two hours. Yeah, I'm over Milano. Yeah, I said freaking Veracruz. I'm weird. I'm sorry. Oh my god, someone tell me I don't need a sixth freaking pink princess. One sixty-five for freaking twenty dollars more. Why does it look so weird? This is such a peculiar one. You guys, I'm dropping stacks. I'm not gonna lie. I've been fighting it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna drop some stacks here. We are gathered here today. That's from my dad's favorite movie. I have a bunch of plants I'm gonna sell, by the way, so I'm not like buying all these things without replacing my money. I hope you guys know that. I have this problem where I can't spend money without making money. It's like an allergy. But less cool. Can I live vicariously through you? Can't spend money till next week. Gathered here today for plants. Yeah, Max, I don't know how many pink princesses I need, but clearly I need a lot. I want the Zephophyla, but they're just too expensive for me to like justify. That's beautiful. Hello. Wow. You guys, listen, you don't need to become obsessed with expensive things. There are a lot of really inexpensive plants that are just as beautiful as the $300, $400, and $5 plants. Just like what you like, even if it's not, like, popular. Tell people that they can go suck a duck. You know what I mean? Okay, so I clicked on this one, this one, and this one. Well, that one's too much, I think. Yeah, okay, this one... So I clicked on this one, this one, which I already have. I want to do another heart leaf. I'm getting this one for sure. This begonia or onto flora. <laughs> I literally find ex any excuse to drop stacks on plants. Finished my MCAT, got my test scores back, submitted apps last week. Um, my reason was because it's Sunday. So this pink princess is actually gnarly. This one's really cute. I like this one because it kind of looks like a Red Anderson. It's just so nice sometimes to like lower your inhibitions and just like, it's like, you know, I've been so, you guys, I am so good with money. I'd like to think I am at least. I had to become good at money. I was bad when Chris managed it, but now that I have to manage it, I never spend money. I was just talking to my Discord the other day, which by the way, become a member. You guys, become a member. It's like this all the time. $5 a month. That's it. Come become a member. Literally five bucks a month. It is so worth it. All the members in my chat will tell you that. I was just talking to my members the other day about how I haven't bought plants in a long time. I've just been trading. I can totally tell all you guys are like doing stuff because the chat will like get quiet out of nowhere because you guys are all busy doing amazing things in your amazing lives. I'm disassociating looking at my screen. Selkie, so, uh, because I was talking to you right before I fell asleep on Discord, you were like your name was in my dream. So it was, it was, Sel Selty, I think, is the one in Dorara, but her name was Selkie for the sake of the fact that I fell asleep and you, uh, I was talking to you. I think I have to get this Majestic. This has been a plant on my wish list for a long time, and it's like $300 or $400 whenever you see it. No, I'm like second guessing myself if I should actually uh, order it or not because I'm like, should I just be happy with what I already. Picked. Like the homolamina was expensive. 
Yeah, Yadira, I did. I bought a Homolomina, Varagata, and then a Sigillatus and a Variegated String of Hearts. Yeah, we have a Discord, but it is 18 and over. You need to be an adult. If you lie, we will find out and we will have to remove you. Okay, so with Reluctance, with Reluctance, I've moved, removed the Pink Princess from my cart. Um, and I'm just gonna do the Majestic because that's a ridiculous price for one. And uh, I'm gonna do the Rontaflora. Awesome! Well, guys, I think that's kind of it. We did some plant stuff. Yeah, I have actually, I have a huge uh, variegated string of hearts, but I wanna start a second one without cutting my current one. But I don't know, I just like, to be honest with you guys, I had major plant burnout. And I feel like I've finally, I feel like I've finally like gotten out of it. I spent like eight hours, maybe more yesterday, just in my plant room cleaning. I propagated a ton of stuff and I'm really excited to like try to get better at actually growing plants. And so I wanted to like, why I did this today is I wanted to order some plants that I hadn't yet tried. So the Homolomina, I've never tried growing one of those. Apparently they're more water, they like more water. Majestic is more of a difficult philodendron as well. Sigillatus is easy, variegated string of hearts is easy, and the Urantiflora will be more difficult because it's a begonia, but David said she's printing your order out now. <laughs> I go out of town for a whole week here soon, so um, if they deliver the plants like while I'm gone, then... Well, but I and I paid for expedited shipping. I paid like the $50 fee for shipping. So thanks you guys You guys are awesome. I really appreciate you. I see some of you guys slowly dwindling out of the live But thanks for hanging out with me and I just I don't know. I genuinely had so much fun tonight All right, you guys. Oh, thank you Thank you guys so much for watching this video please make sure you hit like subscribe and tweet me at plant me ashley follow me on instagram and tiktok at plant me ashley it's plant me ashley everywhere literally everywhere you search it i'm there oh i'm so excited for my plants i am so excited for the homolomina okay you guys good night i can't wait to show you you guys are ahead of the game you won't see a video about this oh my gosh Teresa lot Thank you so much for becoming a member. Wow, thank you so much, Teresa. But you guys won't see a video about this, like a shortened video about this for two weeks. So you guys are ahead of the game. Goodbye.